guys could get here and today we're gonna do a quick MacBook upgrade. So uh, actually have, we're gonna start off with a hardware upgrade and what we're doing is upgrading the hard drive from the traditional uh, it's the traditional serial ATA drive it has in to a SSD. My Intel X twenty five M will be installing OS ten Snow Leopard, so I'll probably join this with a video of the installation. Uh, anyways, this is the upgrade from original Leopard. This is my sister's old MacBook. Uh, that she had. She got the MacBook Pro, the new one. Uh, so we'll be upgrading her old one to Leopard, I mean, to the Leopard, and this is not actually the MacBook I'll be using now, so this will be really nice. So first off, you want to make sure, obviously, you undo the latch that uncases the battery. And there you go. And uh, I'll be upgrading to 4 gigs of RAM in the future, so I'll have to order that. Um, from there, I'm using this, I believe, .0 screwdriver. This is the same screwdriver I use in my iPhone repair, uh, video repair, if you ever saw that. Uh, so... You have three screws that you want to get off here in the uh, uh, little, it's kind of like a bezel for the MacBook's battery. And this reveals the RAM sticks and where the hard drive would be located, but I already pulled it out. Uh, so easily, it just pops off here once you undo the screws. You don't even have to undo them all the way. You just have to do them uh, most of the way. They come off. Uh, these two little lovers right here, if you can see, are... Sorry, <laughs> are for the RAM, and it teaches you how to remove it right there if you want to upgrade your RAM. That's for a future video. Uh, normally, your hard drive would just normally seat in right here, as so. It would just go in, sorry, kind of prop it up right here. And it would slide in, and uh, actually, I think it comes in, goes in this way. Slide in, and then you would normally just pull out the hard drive like that. So, here in the hard drive, uh, I guess you call this little sled. Uh, I'm going to be replacing this hard drive, it's also 80 gigs, with uh, this I believe is like a 1.4, something like that, screwdriver. Uh, I'm going to be using this to unscrew the sled holding the ATA, or, sorry for the uh, edit there, sorry, the camera actually decided to run out of memory, so I had to delete some space. Anyway, uh, remove the four screws on the sled, uh, the sled of holding the hard drive, and that, two more on the other side. And again, this is the Apple default hard drive that comes in 80 gigs. Uh, the SSD that I'll be putting in is my Intel X25M SSD, which should see some uh, general speed improvements along with Snow Leopard in it. Uh, and again, it's running on 1 gig of RAM. I believe it's 2.1 gigahertz on the Intel Core 2 Duo. So the uh, four gig or extra 3 gigs of RAM I still have to order, so that's maybe for a future update video. And there you go, dropping the screw. So I'll have to get that later on. Anyways, here you simply just lift the hard drive after that. See there, you probably want to store that safely somewhere. Uh, I'm just going to store it upside down for now on the side. Basically, this sled is just really kind of flimsy, so you want to be careful. It's just something you needed to store and pull out the hard drive for later. about all they're set pretty tight here and with that flip the hard drive back upside down and I believe it should just set in pretty uh, everything yeah so everything looks like it's set normally it should just slide back in and make sure you have the tab kind of pulled out and you're gonna want to hear a click you know pushing in pretty tight so that it does click into the actual corresponding sockets you can fold that back in if you want that you're just gonna do repeat the same process you want to put everything back on now now with this part right here the only problem is the only hard part here is kind of adjusting this so it goes back on the right way without these screws getting in your way but these little garters for the ram might get in your way when you're trying to just screw the screws back in if you don't take them off completely uh, in this case for the video i'm not going to take them off completely just because it takes time what i like to do is when I'm going to screw the screw in, I kind of tuck the padding in the RAM uh, socket. The RAM slot. So here I'm just going to start screwing in this one. And I'm going to tuck it in at the same time. And while it's tucked in.
Thank <laughs> you.